Good evening, YouTubers. New Time Travel Jaime 88. Welcome back to my channel. And tonight, to celebrating Star Trek's 57th birthday, which is yesterday, September 8th, I am going to show off my entire Star Trek, the original series on video cassette. Look how much all my original Star Trek series has been grown. Oh yes, I am a diehard Star Trek fan since 1991. All these tapes in my collection. Alright, so this will take a couple parts to do this. So, without further ado, sit back, relax, as I go through all these episodes in broadcast order. Sorry about my hands is shaky, but anyway, let's get this show on the road, shall we? All right, we're going to get down to business right now with Star Trek The Cage. This is the original unaired pilot episode. Episode one in the series. With special remarks by Gene Rottenberry. This is the original television pilot episode. Air date never shown on TV. And it says here, portions of the cage were later incorporated into the two-part episode title, The Menagerie. And this is a 1990 release. Here's the sticker label and label. The print date is September 16th, 1991. And it's printed in the 40th, the 40th week of 1991. It says right here on the light. Well, it doesn't want to... There we go. Anyway, since this copy has a print date, we all know what this will have at the end. And this does have the 1982 Paramount Home Video logo at the beginning and at the end, right before, right after the 1989 Paramount, a Paramount communication featured presentation logo with the Paramount on parade music and the warning screen. Because this Paramount just kept the reels from 1986. It does have the 1982 Paramount home video logo at the beginning and the end. And then, we're moving on to the first aired episode, The Man Trap. Episode 6 in this series. Air date, September 8th, 1966. Start date, 1513.1. 1991 release. Came with this. Sticker label and label, July 13th, 1991, and it's printed in the 30th week of 1991. And once again, since this has a print date, we all know what this will have at the end. And this does not have the next voyage preview for um, The Naked Time, but it does have the Paramount Television Yellow Split Box 1 logo at the end, Right after the Desilu logo with no 19 set without the copyright, just the 1966 logo. And this is a 1991 print because it does have the Paramount, a Paramount Communication feature presentation logo from 1989, and the warning screen and the videotape 1991 Paramount picture logo. I have the original VHS of the Man Trap with does have the preview for the Naked Time and the, the Desilu logo with the 1978 copyright and the 1984 Paramount Television Blue Mountain logo in videotape with the 1979 jingle. Next, I have Charlie X, episode 8 in the series. Air date, September 15th, 1966. Start date, 1533.6. Even though it says 1985 on there. 
And this is a later printing. Eighteenth week of 1989. This does have the sticker underneath there, so this will have the white screen of death and moaning sound at the end. And this does have the next voyage preview for Balance of Terror. And it does have the Desilu logo with the 1978 copyright and the Paramount Television Blue Mountain logo from 1984 in videotape with the 1979 jingle. And it, this also has the 1982 Paramount Home Video logo at the beginning. Next, When No Man Has Gone Before, the second pilot, episode two in the series, which is episode three. Air date, September 22nd, 1966. Start date, 1312.4. This is a 1992 reprint. Second week of 1992. Let me see the lights here. Yeah. But even though this is still a 1991 VHS, but this does not have the next voyage preview for the Corbin Knight, Corbin Knight Maneuver because it does have the the Paramount Television Split Box 1 logo with lots of scratches from 1968 and 1969. And it does have the Desilu logo without the 1978 copyright, just the 1966. But it does have the Paramount Future Presentation logo with the warning screen and the 1991 videotape Paramount Picture logo with the Paramount Communication on there from 1991. Or 1990. Next, The Naked Time, episode 7 in the series. Air date September 29th, 1966, start date 1704.2. This is a 1991 episode, and it's my favorite episode. And this one was Sulu with the Swashbuckler. 1991 tape. Thirty third week of 1991, and this also has the Paramount Television Split Box One logo at the end. And also, it does not have the next voyage preview. It just had the Desi logo and the 1968 1969 Paramount Television Split Box One logo. But this is a 1991 reprint because it does have the, which is close capture like The Man Trap and When No Man Has Gone Before. This too also has the Paramount Feature Presentation logo from 1989 and the warning screen and the 1991 videotape Paramount Picture logo at the beginning. All right. Next, the Emmy with them. Episode five in the series. Air date, October 8th, 1966. Star date, 1672.1. I, Captain Kirk. I, Captain Kirk! <laughs> this comes with a little um, pamphlet. And here's the sticker label. 1992 reprint. Uh, 28th week of 1992. And there's these barcode red stripes on there. It's probably, this is the clicking tone white screen of death. And once again, this also has the Paramount Television Split Box 1 logo at the end. But it does not have the next voyage preview for The Man Trap. But it does have the Paramount Home Video Feature Presentation logo from 1989 with the warning screen. The 19... 
91 Paramount Picture logo in videotape and start of the series. Now, the original um, VHS release for The Naked Time has the next voyage preview for Charlie X, while the Emony Within VHS that I do have contains the original preview for The Man Trap. And I've got to mention that um, The Naked Time, there's an episode remake with Star Trek The Next Generation called The Naked Now. Next, Mud's Women. Episodes four in the series. Air date, October 13th, 1966. Start date, 1329.1. The first appearances of Hardcore Fenton Mud. Nineteen ninety one tape. Thirtieth week of nineteen ninety one. It has the exact same print date as on where no man has gone before tape. And once again, this does also has the Paramount Television Split Box One logo at the end, right after the Desilu logo, 1966. The original VHS preview that I got from 1985 does have the trailer for the Emony with them. The Laserdisc release has the go by with the next voyage preview according to their original um, broadcast order trailers. Next, What a Little Girl's Made Of, episode 10 in this series. Air date for this one is October 20th, 1966, starting 18th week of 1988, and it's got the um, Moni, and it's got the sticker on there. Yep. So this will probably have the white screen of death and Moni sound at the end, and it's also got this sticker right there. And this also has the Paramount Television Blue Mountain logo from 1984, and it does have the next voyage preview for. The Dagger of the Mind. And it does have the Desilu logo with the 1978 copyright, just like on the Charlie X tape. Next, here's Miri. Episode 12 in the series. Air date, October 27th, 1966. Start 2713.5. Rest in peace to Michael J. Pollard, who was guest starring this episode. And this episode was banned on on international release on BBC One or BBC Yes, back in the 70s. Before they resolved it in 1999. Seventeenth week of nineteen ninety one, and judging by this, this does have a this is a recycled tape because this does not have anything at the end, and it comes with this little booklet. Oops. The Dagger of the Mind, episode eleven in this series. November 3rd, 1966, started 2715.1. The first Vulcan My Melt episode. And the Emony with them is also the first Vulcan Nerve Pinch episode. Eight 
18th week of 1988, and once again, it's got the sticker un underneath there, so this will have the widescreen of death and moaning sound, and it's got the sticker also right there as well. This does have the Paramount Television Blue Mountain logo at the end. And it does have the Next Voyage Preview 4. Miri. But on the Laserdisc release, it has the Next Voyage Preview for the Corbinite Maneuver. And I forgot to mention that the, the end of Miri, it does have the Desilu logo with the 1978 copyright and the 1984 Paramount Television Blue Mountain logo. Both Dagger to Mine, Mary, and What a Little Girl's Made of all have the 1982 Paramount Home Video logo at the beginning. Yep, from 1982. I love the music from Paramount Television Home Video, I mean Paramount Home Video logo. Moving on to the Corbinite Maneuver, episode three in this series. The 10th episode, November 10th, 1966, 1512.2. There is no escape. This is a 1991 release in closed caption. Thirtieth week of nineteen ninety one. This does also have the Paramount Television Split Box One logo at the end, and it does not have the Next Voyage preview for Mud's Women. But my original VHS release does have the trailer for Mud's Women, and this is a nineteen ninety one reprint because it has the Paramount feature presentation logo from nineteen ninety. And the warning screen and the videotape 1991 Paramount Picture logo. And it does have the neck, the Desilu logo, just 1968 with no copyright. The original 85 release does have that. All right. Moving on to the Menagerie Parts 1 and 2. Episode 16 in this series. Air dates for this are November 17th and the 24th, 1966. And if you look right here, let me tell you the reading right here. In 1965, a pilot entitled The Cage was submitted as episode one for a new television series, Star Trek. The series was improved but the cage rejected. Footage from it, however, was later used in episode 16, The Menagerie, revealing the history of the Enterprise under a different captain. Interesting. And they, you, while the, instead of let the cage went wasted, they decided to, uh, producers chopped it up, took the footage and used it for The Menagerie. This is a 1991 reprint. The print date is Jul July 12th, 1991. And it's printed in the 29th week of 1991. And since this copy has a print date, we all know what this will have at the end. And this does have the, the 1984 Paramount Blue Mountain logo at the end because it's a 1985 Tape Master. It does have the 1982 Paramount Home Video logo at the beginning, wrapped with a multicolor changing warning screen. And it does have the Next Voyage preview for the Menagerie Part 2 and the Next Voyage preview for Shore Leave. Okay, I'll put it right there. Next, I have The Conscience of the King, episode 13 in the series. 
Air date, December 8th, 1966, start date, 2817.6. The observation deck. This is the only time you see the observation deck. The next time you'll see it again is, I believe, is from Star Trek V, The Final Frontier. This marks the last appearances of Kevin Riley. Not only that, it also marks the final appearances of Grace Lee Whitney as Janice Wren because she was fired after the series. But this returned in Star Trek The Motion Picture. This is still in seal and this is a 1991 tape because of this. This still uses the original tape master from 1985 and it does have the 1982 Paramount Home Video logo at the beginning. And it does have the next Voyage preview for the Galileo 7. Alright, I am going to show you one more before we stop. We'll go to part 2. Here is Balance of Terra, episode 9 in this series. Air date for this, December 15th, 1966, start date 1709.1, it's a 1991 tape. July 14th, 1991, oops, and it's printed in the 30th week of 1991, and again, we all know what this will have at the end. And this does have the Paramount Television Split Box 1 logo at the end. With the yellow background and lots of scratches on the print. Right after the Desilu logo, 1966. And this does not have the next Voyage preview because this is a reprint from 91. It does have the Paramount Feature Presentation logo from 1989. The warning screen and, and the 1991 videotape Paramount picture logo, the Paramount communication. All right, that's it for part one. Stay tuned for part two.